Okay, so next up we have battery system, which is interconnected battery subsystems of one or more batteries and chargers. It can also include converters, inverters, and associated equipment. So here we've committed kind of a foul, in my opinion, where we, we, we talk about a battery system and you say, oh, well, that's, that's batteries and stuff, but we, we haven't talked about what a battery is yet. And unfortunately, we define battery system in Article 100 but we define battery in Article 480, and maybe that's a, a, an argument that's, that's for moving all the definitions to Article 100 as they're doing in the 2023 code. So let's stop over to Article 480 and see what a battery is before we get too carried away. Uh, a battery, a storage battery, is a battery <laughs> with one or more lead acid, nickel cadmium, or other rechargeable cells. So we kind of violated a, a fundamental concept here of using the defined term within the definition. I don't know what a battery is, so I'm reading the definition, and it says, well, a battery is a battery. Okay, well, there you go. Fortunately, I think we all do kind of know what a battery is, though. 480 also has some other definitions, things like intercell connectors. Uh, that would be a conductive bar or cable that connects cells together. So we're connecting positive to negative here and positive to negative here because we're putting these guys in series. And we're doing those with intercell connectors. We're going to call this set up here uh, of batteries, we're going to call that a tier. And to connect tier to tier, we're going to use inter-tier connectors. And that's also defined in Article 480. Uh, that's a conductor that connects multiple cells on multiple tiers or shelves. So there you go. We're going to connect the batteries to one another with intercell connectors. And we're going to connect the tiers or shelves together with inter-tier connectors. Now, all of these are components of what? A battery system. So one more time. Interconnected battery subsystems of one or more batteries and chargers. And it can also include ancillary equipment like converters, inverters, and associated equipment. So we're going to have the batteries themselves and we're going to have a way to charge them. And the way we charge them is going to be with a charge controller. And that is defined in Article 100. That's equipment that controls DC voltage or current for charging a battery or an energy storage device. Now, we haven't gotten to energy storage devices. Uh, those are regulated in Article 706, somewhat new uh, to the NEC. I think they were put in uh, back in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, an energy storage device uh, is basically a battery. It's, a, uh, it's not a lead acid battery or a nickel cadmium battery. It's a uh, lithium ion. And it's usually quite large. We'll put them in a, in a garage or you know, and sometimes in a building. Uh, the most common manufacturers of those would be Tesla or Sonnen. Uh, those are the energy storage systems. These guys, of course, are the batteries. And this is how you charge them. We use a charge controller. And at the end of the day, we have a battery system.